Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here I am explaining you regarding module 2's uh, problem. Uh, AML module 2 problem, let's begin. So since we have a shortage amount of time, I will just cover the important problems. So the rest problems uh, similar to the what I am explaining should be uh, easy, should helpful, should I hope that will be easier for you also. So I will start with the module 1 topic that is uh, first for topic is representing the fact with the predicate knowledge predicate logic so there will be a given uh, condition so what you need to do is you need to write the predicate and you need to try to prove something what they have given so representing the fact you need you need to be with the help of a predicate knowledge so the question will go like this they will give this uh, question so we need to solve rest of things the what's the question marcus was a pompeian marcus was a man this condition will be given we have to write the predicate knowledge the predicate lo logic and we have to prove that marcus is not loyal to caesar by the backward propagation with the help of this given predicate uh, logic or the statement we have to prove that marcus is not loyal to Caesar by the backward propagation. Let's see what is what it is. So first the condition the facts they have given is Marcus was a pompeian. How we can represent that in a predicate knowledge? We can represent that in a predicate knowledge as this one. So this is a man that is man should be represented outside and Marcus should be present inside. How can we how can we read that Marcus is a pompeian? Sorry, Marcus is a man. Marcus was a man. That is how we need to read it. So first inside and then outside. That is how we need to re read that. Next uh, condition is Marcus was a Pompeian. So how can we represent that Marcus was a Pompeian? We have to mark, write the Marcus uh, inside and then Pompeians outside. So we write, we have to read like Marcus was a Pompeian. That is how we need to read. And uh, moving on to the next uh, uh, statement that is Marcus was marker. Uh, all the Pompeians were Romans. So so the next condition is all the Pompeians were Romans. So how can we say that all the Pompeians were Romans? For all, so we have one uh, symbol that is for all. So this is how it is uh, indicated. For all x, correct? So that is the for all x. So what we are trying to do is for all x, for all Rom Pompeians were Romans. We have to that Pompeian of x is nothing but Romans of x. So for all x, x belongs to all the country, all the x well, if it if they were Pom uh, Pompeian, uh, then that indicates that they were Romans. So that is how it is indicated for all for all x for all Pompeian of x they were Roman. And the next condition is Caesar were a, was a ruler. How we have to indicate Caesar inside, ruler ruler outside. So ruler was a Caesar. So Caesar we have to, how we have to do it. So we have to read like this. So Caesar was a ruler from inside to outside. So that is it. And uh, Next condition is all Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. I hope you can see it both. Yeah, all the Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. For all Romans, Romans that is here, Romans were loyal to Caesar. That is, so all the Romans were uh, loyal to Caesar. All, all the Romans, that is X here, X indicates that Roman, all the Romans were loyal to Caesar or hate Caesar. So we have to, for all Romans, so we have considered X as Roman. So for all X, that is for all X, Roman of X, so X is a Roman, we have considered that X is loyal to Caesar or X hate Caesar. So that is how it is, how all Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. So that is how it is uh, given. Uh, so in the next, uh, everyone is loyal to someone. So it, it is indicated uh, like this. Everyone, that is for all x, someone is not, is indicated by there exists y. There exists someone. So that is uh, x is loyal to y. That is how we read this. x is loyal to y. 1, 2 and 3. If we have bracket or you have something, we have to read like this. 1, 2 and 3. This is clear. And now, uh, uh, Marcus tried to assassinate Caesar. The condition is Marcus tried to assassinate Caesar. So, uh, for all x comma y, person x is uh, someone is a person x, uh, and a ruler is a y. 
what they have tried to do is they tried to assassinate x comma y no sorry i am explaining some different uh, this one yeah people try to assassinate ruler they are not loyal to for example people is nothing but here person person x and ruler y what they are trying to do is and try to assassinate x comma y if it indicates if they try to assassinate it indicates that they are not loyal to x comma y x is nothing but uh, for all x comma person x and then y is a ruler so what they are trying to do we are they are trying to assassinate uh, this in, that indicates that they are not loyal to x comma y x comma is nothing but a person if the person is not uh, loyal to uh, the loyal if they try to assassinate then they are not loyal to then they are not loyal okay so that is how it is given and the next condition is marcus try to assassinate caesar so the next condition is marcus try to assassinate caesar try assassinate marcus caesar so how we have to read marcus try to assassinate caesar that is how it is read marcus try to assassinate caesar that is how it is read so and the question is if marcus is not loyal to caesar by the backward propagation we have to prove that marcus is not loyal to caesar so i hope uh, this is visible so with the help of this predicate logic we have to prove that the marcus is not loyal to caesar now let's consider marcus is not loyal to caesar okay so this is the question so marcus is not loyal to caesar so look at the uh, production rule of predicate logic where there is a loyal not loyal to we can see this not loyal to here yeah so here you can see that uh, not loyal to in this equation correct so we can replace this not loyal to by this equation since it is uh, correct so it's just like x is equal to y if x is equal to y we can replace y by x correct so both of them are true so we can replace this not loyal to of x comma y divided is as person x and uh, ruler y and try to assassinate x comma y and now what is this x comma y here x comma y is replaced by the marcus and caesar so wherever x is there we have to replace that with the marcus wherever y is there replace that with the caesar so person marcus and ruler y uh, ruler caesar try to assassinate marcus comma caesar so this is not ruler y this is uh, ruler uh, uh, caesar uh, so we have to try to assassinate Marcus comma Caesar, and now uh, next we have per um, person Marcus and ruler Y and try to assassinate. Since this condition is true, we can say that all the values must be true. Since and is there, we have to say that this all the values individual values must be true. Since this whole condition is true, we know that this whole condition is true. We have to then it must. implies that if this whole by whole statement is true then person x and person y or the person x and ruler y is must be true correct so that is how it indicated so person x and ruler y we can just divide it like this now if both the statement are true so from this statement we got to know that this is true if both the statement are true then we can directly write this mark person of marcus x so from going to the backward from here in this direction if we go from backward direction so what we get is person x that is the ruler caesar they try to assassinate marcus comma caesar and it indicates that loyal marcus is not loyal to caesar hence proved i hope this is clear first we have to consider what the given condition is and we have to try to ass assign these values and since these both three conditions are true we have to divide it and we have to divide it so we get person of marcus x so person marcus so from backward propagation we have come to this conclusion so from going from the bottom to top we can directly prove that person uh, marcus so with the help of this condition we have uh, come to conclusion that person marcus and ruler caesar and with the condition we have uh, got to know that try they try to assassinate marcus comma caesar if they try to assassinate marcus comma caesar then we can imply that they are not loyal to uh, marcus is not loyal to caesar how we have to read marcus is not loyal to caesar and the next coming to the next concept that is a computable uh, predicate so what here we are trying to do is as the name says here we are trying to compute some values here in the previous values we are not computing any kind of values we were just assigning the truth statement we were getting the truth statement so here what we will do is we will compute some values for example the man um, yeah so um volcano erupted in 1999 and 79 ad Seventy nine A.D. and uh, all the Pompeians were dead. 
correct so also for example um, now it is uh, 78 ad okay and now we have to check whether the pompkins is dead or not what we will do we will check whether 78 is greater than or less than 79 if it is greater than we have to say that pompions are dead if it is less than 79 79 then we can say that all the pompions are not dead okay that is how it is calculated so here we calculate something we compute something and then we will try to figure out the uh, statement okay so this is a given question so here you need to write the predicate logic so how we can write so as i said marcus was a man first we have to write the man outside and marcus inside pompion Pompeian outside, Marcus inside, and Marcus was born in 48 AD, born Marcus, 40, and for all men are mortal, uh, for all men are mortal, and uh, uh, all Pompeians died when the Vulcan erupted in 79 AD, so all the Pompeians died when the Vulcan erupted in 78 AD, erupted volcano was 79, and all the Pompeians were dead in 70x comma 79 so uh, erupted volcano was in 79 so volcano erupted in 79 pomp x pompian died so x died in 79 that is pompian died in 79 i hope this is clear and uh, no leaves no mortal leaves more than 150 years um So here it says that no mortal leaves more than 150 years. Uh, for all x comma and t1, t2 is there. These are the time periods of t1 and t2. Okay. So mort mortal of x and born in x1 comma t1 uh, and greater than t2 minus t1 uh, comma 180. That indicates that for example x is a mortal, x is a man or a mortal. So we have two time period birth year and then present year or uh, birth year and then present year. Okay. So if uh, the birth year is something, uh, uh, for example, 1,500 and 750. So this is their, uh, so yeah, uh, 1, 5, 7, 